Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Uh, we're not where we last left off, incidentally. Uh, that was because I was running around and trying to find war. Uh, I have had no success in finding our, our friend whatsoever, which is a little bit worrying. Also, we have some zombie issues, which uh, are not about their own problems. Also, everybody's heads disappeared again. Which is uh, a little bit awkward. However, hopefully when we get to where we're going, we will be able to save an exit. And that usually fixes all of the problems. I say usually. Uh, it, it's, it's not an exact science. Ooh, goats. Yeah, might be worth hunting some goats, I suppose. Always worth it. We need the undead uh, majiggers anyway. Now, if I was a zombie goat... Where would I be? I would be smart, I suppose, and run into this bush. Damn smart zombie goats. And what the hell is trying to eat my face? Oh, a zombie goat, apparently, was trying to eat my face. Ooh, right in the brain. Excellent. Well, he certainly wasn't wearing his skid lid today, which is fine. Um, can I... Can I search you, Mr. Goat? Please? <sighs> yes, unfortunately you can't um, search every corpse you create, which I'm not actually sure if that's a bug. Oh, shit. I hate these bloody little things. They're the bane of my existence right about now. Oh, God. Damn zombie coyotes. However, however, they are useful. Kind of. For all of their undead parts. Ugh, bloody hell. I say that if you can actually, you know, get to them. Let's put dynamite down. See what happens. Oof. Say, so what's... Uh-oh, we are sliding down. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I've also been using the shotgun quite a bit, which actually is really nice because of the spread pattern. I'm really looking forward to getting a proper shotgun in this game. Ooh. Who are you? Oh, you're just a zombie. I am disappointed. Well, yeah, best not to ask these questions, John. Uh-oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, hello. Ooh, God. Easy, fellas. Easy, fellas. There's more than enough John to go around. I promise. Ooh. Okay. Try not to double tap these guys. Ooh. Okay, I got a little bit hairy there for a minute, didn't it? Yeah, sometimes it's also, um, ah, ribs, lovely. Uh, it's also quite hard sometimes to search these guys. Anyway, even if they do create the, the black axes, which is a little bit of a problem, but uh, never mind. For instance, this black X here. Can I search you, please? Yes, lovely. Pistol ammo times one. I mean, honestly. A single pistol bullet. Well, maybe we can save it for ourselves. Uh, uh, God. Oh dear. Come on, John. The power of the Skyrim horse is with you. There we go. Look at that. Where there is a will, there is a way. And John certainly has the will, that's for sure. Eh. We also haven't tried our phosphorus coating yet. Which, um... I actually had forgotten about, I'm not going to lie. Only when I went uh, into our inventory earlier to make some more blunderbuss ammo did I realise that uh, we had a thing. Oh, bloody hell. You're a big boy. Do you have some nice undead ribs for me? You've probably got about a thousand. Uh, one tusk. Come on. One tusk. <sighs> Well, I guess these aren't the beasties that just keep giving, are they? Never mind. Yeah, um, I have spent about... Got me about an hour running around, I suppose, trying to find war. Um, I'm, pff, I've given up now. He was actually fairly easy. Ooh, God. He was actually fairly easy to find the first time. You know. Ooh. But the second time, he's being a bit of a dick. 
But then, that's not surprising. Considering we led to his demise. So, you know, I can understand his uh, anxiety for wanting to come back and help us. Abigail, Jack, yeah. I'm hoping uh, in Undead, Undead Redemption 2, I wish, in um, Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm hoping uh, it's going to be easier to search people. I hope you don't have to have that repetitive animation every time. That's if you can search people at all. Uh, although, I would have thought that you'd be able to, because that's quite a big part of the game. It's just um, a little bit of a pain and a bit fiddly to search everybody. Ooh! Goat! The Temple of the Goat. Ooh! Are you kidding? Well, this, this particular goat was wearing its skid lid. Okay. You have a hell of a brain case on you. Can you survive a second shell? Ooh! Well, he took that one between the cheeks. Which uh, is not the best place to shoot an undead creature. Apparently. I mean, it is funny and it feels good. But it isn't the best way. We're also rapidly depleting our ammo. Get off the horse, I thought. Go scavenging for items, I thought. But uh, the only thing we're accomplishing here, and this place is pretty, is uh, rapidly depleting our ammo. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Well, we're, oh dear, that's not actually that good, is it? No, we can get up there, that's fine. Right, come on, friendo. And it's been so long since I played this game. Uh, I can't remember what we're calling our horse. Is this Sparkles? Is Sparkles back? I can't remember. Yes, my missus thinks we should call the next horse Dave. And I think this is a wonderful idea. Uh, I'm quite a fan. Because then we can turn up and say, Everybody dead, Dave. Dave, everybody's dead. And I think this works wonderfully. Alright, let's go find Seth anyway. Now, it was quite confusing for a while, because it says we need to find, uh, ooh, there's loads of bodies here. It says, whoa, who? Yeah, because uh, we need to find Seth in New Austin. I'm like, New Austin? Where on the map is New Austin? And then the penny dropped. The, the whole of the, the US is New Austin. Or at least the whole of this area, which incidentally is, um, uh, is Texas, I believe. Is Texas called New Austin way back when? I think that's true. I might be wrong. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Who are you? You're Black Beauty. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go get Sparkles back. Come on, Sparkles. Let's go. If you weren't called Sparkles before, you now are. So, sorry about that. I actually thought I said Metallica Falls then. I was like, dude, yes. Even if I'm not the hugest Metallica fan in the world. In fact, eh, I can take some or leave them. Ooh. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. Hello, buddy. Hello. I am having what you're selling. And I'm having it for free. Look how many ribs you have. We'll be eating ribs for days. Uh, bull horns, of course. <sighs> you know, the bigger, the more dangerous animal. Um, you would have thought the more stuff we get. But that does not seem to be very accurate, unfortunately. Yeah, I only really liked one album of Metallica, and that's the Metallica Black album. You know, that album that everybody loves. Or I say most people love, anyway. Seth. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Why are you there, John? Fancy a game of cards? No. Not right this Good. minute. You remember Moses, John? He's he's, he's, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. Uh, come here, boy. Come I don't on. remember Moses. Come here, boy. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. 
Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you? Mm, certainly looks like it. What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you <sighs> bastard. That ain't nothing. That ain't what? Ain't nothing. I've seen husbands eating wives, mothers eating sons, graves popping open, and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is. Mm -hmm. so oh, boo hoo! Big tough John Marson is scared of a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides. Ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Oh. Folks. 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 Damn them folks. Damn them. <laughs> damn them. Very nice. Get them. Get them, Moses. Get them. After all I've done for you, Seth. And I thought loyalty was important to you. We weren't going to hurt you, to my knowledge. Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead are risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh eaten. Well, we know that much. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> uh, well, because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Hmm. Point. Who made you John Marston? Same as made me. Same as made Moses. Is there a cure? <sighs> These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that. Or stop worrying and become one of them. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Now, excuse us. We got good times to remember. Happy times. So you've got to go clear the graveyards. That doesn't sound too bad. I mean, surely. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. Um, clear out three new Austin graveyards. Uh, can do. Right. So I'm curious about this. Why was Moses not attacking Seth? Was it because uh, he found the glass eye? Or the cursed eye, whatever they call it. Hmm. Is it because he raised the dead? Or is it just because Moses is a stupid, uh, <clears throat> loyal mm, friend? Uh, we may not know. We may never know. But let's go. Uh, let's go clear some graveyards anyway. Come on. Uh, come on, come on, Sparkles. There you go. Good boy. Well, actually, we're not sure whether Sparkles is a boy or a girl. Oh, you know, it's 2018. You know, it could be something in the middle. You know, we, we, we don't pass judgment these days. Uh, lest we be uh, labelled intolerant. And uh, we don't want to be labelled intolerant, apparently. Uh, they might be eating you. Hang on. What's going on here? I can't be arsed, to be honest. Right, now let's go take our blunderbuss and have a jolly good time. It does look like, however, these zombie fellows, you know, are turning into uh, into people with guns. Now, that raises some issues. Uh, mainly because there's generally one or two of them, especially where we go. Uh, this possibly is not going to end well for us. Possibly, um, you know. Uh, best not to uh, to dwell on it too much, and uh, what will be will be. If the game has massively bugged out, then we're just going to have to see if we can reset it. Now, where exactly are these graveyards? 
Oh, hello. That's under attack. Ass bags. Hmm. Well, we can deal with that later. In fact, I might just deal with that one off camera because it just involves us going over there and sorting out. It actually looks like the zombie situation in New New Austin is getting worse. Uh, which is concerning because it wasn't all smiles and sunshine before. Now there are a lot of zombies, which is worrying. Definitely worrying. Come on. Come on. The power of the Norse gods. Yes. The Norse gods have smiled on us. Uh, who are you exactly? Yes. Yes. I would guarantee that I could probably get more of them than you can. Especially with my fancy blunderbuss. But uh, I have no time for your shenanigans, sir. Yeah, 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 you knock yourself out, my friend. Knock yourself out. I have uh, the Lord's work to do. Ooh, actually. Whilst we're here, we will pick up some flowers. Just because we need flowers. Uh, okay, we just kind of slid past the flowers. That's fine. We're not going to worry about that too much. Oof. Okay, we didn't actually pick the flowers up. That's curious. So that's wild fever. Wild fever for you. What do we actually need? Uh, is it journal? Nope. Stat oh no, it's the wrong button. Is what we're doing. Uh, we need to have a look at provisions now. No, is it provisions? That's no, kit. So if we go to phosphorus coating, uh, uses one of any variety. Oh, sage. So we need sage and violet snowdrop. Okay. What do we actually have in stock? Uh, we have those that are useless. We've got a desert sage. Okay, so we've got five. So, that's cool. We can actually make five doses of the stuff. However, I'm not sure how long it lasts. But I think if we're going to a graveyard... Phosphorus ammo all round. Because, you know, burning zombies seems... Oh, God. It's fine. Everything's fine. The Norse gods will yeah, save us. They always do. You can rely on the Norse gods, you know. After all. Do you see any titans walking about? No. That's what I thought. So by that logic, you can prove they actually exist. Okay, you uh, turn. There we go. This handbreaker horse round the corner like a boss. You're right, Sparkles. You know, you know. Some would say possibly we abuse you. You know, that's true. But uh, you know the truth. You know the truth deep down, Sparkles. You know that you're entirely expendable. I mean, friendable. Yes, yes, yes. You're our friendly horse. Our friendable horse. This doesn't even make sense. And, and, and you know, I'm okay with this. I'm totally okay with this. Oh boy. Graveyard time. Coots Chapel. Oh. Um. Burn the coffins. You got it. Right. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Let's go. And for dirt cheap, I of course mean we're doing them for free. Burn, you bastards. However, is there any point in burning uh, coffins that have no, no Zeds in? No Zomboids. Oh, we are getting ammo for doing this, which is cool. I'm a fan of that. The Headless Dead are returning. I would say the rest is dead. But, um... You know, that's not quite apt, is it? They've had plenty of rest. They've been sleeping for a little while. Now, buddy, can you just burn in peace, please? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is going to get worse before it gets better. 
Run, run, John. There we go. Good man. Good man. I almost lost my calm for a minute there. And that is doing a rather... Oh, now I've just got to clear the graveyard out. Well, that can be done. Unfortunately, all these bandwidth-heavy alpha effects are tanking the frame rate. Which is not fantastic. Now, these burning undead... It's taking them. They do take a while to burn to death, actually. Oh, I see. So, when they're on fire. Oh, God. When they're on fire, it's not like a guaranteed kill. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, we've got some more ribs. Ribs are always fun. Ribs can make. Oh, God. Please don't. Don't. Stop hitting sparkles, John. Seriously. You made me lose my call, cool, you dick. I mean, seriously, John. Ah, all right, sawn off time. There we go. All right, give me your stuff. Yeah, the uh, the aiming system, or should I say the lock-on system in general, uh, for Rockstar's games, was pants until GTA V. Kind of interesting. Very hard to aim at a head you can't see as well. But I suppose that just adds to the challenge. These aren't bugs, they're features. Come on, buddy. There we go. Now. One thing is concerning me. Has it bugged so that the zombies are going to continuously spawn? Because that is a problem. And how would we know if this is a bug? Uh, I'm sorry, a feature. Love, excuse me. There we go. You would have thought that there's... Ooh. No, they're still going, I think. Although, I i mean, I don't know. Are we... Hang on. Let's, for shits and giggles, let's use some phosphorus ammo. Just for science. There we go. Ooh. Cleansing blue flame. Oh, I like that. That is cool. These are holy bullets of justice. I am a fan. Yeah, guys, I have a horrible feeling this is not working properly. Oh, wow. You don't get a lot of phosphorus ammo, do you? Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we've cleared this place. Because the, uh, yeah, I mean, oh no, return to the graveyard, I guess not. Okay, um, well, time to use the old f tried and tested method of neck chopping. I mean, to be fair, it was quite easy. So far, excuse me. Come on, buddy, calm down. Uh, excuse me. How many necks do we have to cut? I mean, I'm all for cutting necks. Trust me, I am. But one would assume that there is a limit to how many necks one can cut before one's blade dulls. You know. Undead eye. Just the one. And we got a tongue as well. Cool. Well, you say that, John, but they seem to be coming back from that fairly well. Yeah, I have a horrible feeling, guys, that this game's glitched. Now, I don't know that for certain. We're on 25 minutes anyway. 
which is a little bit of an arse ache. And it would be nice if our horse, Mr. Sparkles, stopped getting in the way. I swear Mr. Sparkles is actually on the zombie side. Any more? Yeah, because as soon as we kill them, they're just instantly respawning. Unless... Is there like a coffin we've missed somewhere? I mean, it's certainly possible. Because uh, our kill count is going through the roof here. Hmm. I'm fairly sure... No, there's definitely no more coffins. Because the coffins are still burning away very, very nicely, you know. We're all getting nice, warm, cosy feet. It's hotter than hell in here, some might say. I am a fan of that ammo. It's just a shame that you get about three or four bullets. Uh, buddy, please. I don't swing that way. And even if I did, you're a little bit smelly for my tastes. Uh, go back to the tomahawk. No, that's not the tomahawk, John. That's the tomahawk. Oh, they're actually all burning, which is quite entertaining. I don't know how you're burning, but we're not going to question it. Yeah, there's something not right here, guys. Like, there's no way you'd have to survive for this long without any indication that what you're doing is right. I could understand if you had to clear out the last few zombies, say like maybe one or two waves, but this much? Surely not. I think we did, John. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say bugged out. Right, okay guys, uh, I'm actually going to end this video here. Um, I'm fairly sure that on the bug list that I actually read... Um, did I print that out? Uh, I've got some maps and things here. Mm. No, I didn't print out the bug list. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is on the bug list. Uh, unwinnable quests, so... Sigh. When we come back, guys, I will be back here. And, um, yeah, we would have finished this one. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.